POV fam, welcome back to another video, you guys. Now, today is going to be a great day. It may not be a long day, but it's going to be a great day, you guys. It's currently about 8.05 right now, y'all. Now, this is actually Labor Day. So, I'm dashing on Labor Day. And let me tell y'all already, a lot is closed, okay? It's closed. So, I may have to just continue on this video tomorrow, y'all, to be honest with y'all, for real. So, you know, if you get a long video, I continue this video on into tomorrow. Because when I say everything closed, when I came from home, I went through downtown, closed up, Chick-fil-A downtown, closed up. But this one over here on East University Drive is open, y'all. The one I always tell y'all I do not like because they only got two drive-thrus. One for the one, the main drive-thru that you go through, order your food, and it's for DoorDash pickup. And they have a side for mobile orders. And you can't even pick up your DoorDash on the mobile side. You got to y'all let me know in the comments, okay? So what sense do this make? You got to go through the main drive through where people are just now placing their order. And then you have to go through there to pick up your DoorDash. So you got people that have orders that have not been placed, but you have a DoorDash that already been placed. So wouldn't that make sense to be over there in the mobile pickup line? Y'all explain to me because mobile orders are already ordered okay but anyway enough about chick-fil-a today is gonna be a good day so we're finna go and pick up this chick-fil-a y'all now i see that people wanting to know how does doordash pay you so i'm about to explain to y'all so i will be doing segments where i be explaining about doordash in the beginning of my video, in the middle, or whatever part of the video, y'all just have to watch the video, like the video, subscribe, and let me know if y'all like me going over these particular topics and giving y'all a ride along. So, y'all, I'm giving y'all the best, okay? I'm trying to give y'all the best that I can and the advice that I can that, I mean, things that I already know, okay? Because I've been doing this it's going on three years now. So, yeah. So, how does DoorDash pay you as a DoorDash driver, you guys? Now, there's two payment methods on DoorDash. Now, I would highly recommend y'all, when you sign up for DoorDash, you guys, make sure you go ahead and sign up for your Dasher Direct card, okay? You do get cash back on fuel. I know I get cash back all the time when I fill up at Walmart. I get cash back if I purchase something. Well, I'm talking about, yeah, you get cash back and also you the upside app you got. You get cash back on now, okay? So if you get cash back on the Dasher card and then that card is linked to your upside, you got, you done doubled up, baby. You done doubled up. But anyway, yeah, make sure you get that Dasher's card, you guys. That is the number one. I know a lot of y'all may want to get it. In, you can direct deposit into your bank account, okay? But y'all got to understand, you can still have to wait a week to get paid. And I think DoorDash pay every Monday or Tuesday, something like that. Either one of them days, you guys, because I used to have mine going in direct deposit. But when I got that Dasher Direct card... You get it as soon as you end your dash, okay? It be on that card as soon as you end your dash, okay? Because I know sometimes you may need to end your dash to get some gas or something. You might need that little money. But if you got it connected to your direct bank account, you're going to have to wait a week. So it's best to get that Dash's direct card, okay, you guys? That is the number one best route to take, okay? And you can also connect that card to your bank account, however you, whatever you want to do with it, just do it, okay? But I highly recommend y'all get that Dasher Direct card. It's, it's going to be on your card as soon as you end the Dash. Boom. 
your balance should say zero because it should be on that card. Now, I'm telling y'all because I use the Dash to Direct card, okay? When I first started out, I did direct deposit to my bank account. But then when I got that Dash to Direct card, I said, oh, wait a minute. Now, this right here is what you need, baby. <laughs> you know, of course, a lot of people ain't going to spend their money in one day. You get paid. Who is buying something every day? Besides gas, we spending our money on gas, okay? I'm telling y'all right now, I put about, I put $25 in my car, I can door dash for almost two days. And y'all just look at the amount of time I spend dashing, the active time, okay? But yeah, so dash your direct, get the door dash prepaid card. Boy, it's a business card, it's like a bank account. It's with Scribe, you guys. I mean, it's just it's just the same as a bank account, okay? Just get that card, all right? And then you can use it free at all point ATM machines. There you go. I gave you the game, so you better run with it. If you're new to dashing, get that dashing direct card. I know you're going to have to wait about a week or two to get it when you first start. And I mean... That'll be a good thing to connect your bank account then. But after you get that card, activate that card and let your money go there. Because at the end of the day, you guys, you can change it over whenever you get ready. Either you want to go to the card or you want to go to your bank account. You can always change it. All you got to do is click on it. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, for the one who had that question on how to get paid from DoorDash, that is the way to get paid and i just got a text that's saying the order is ready you guys so let's go ahead and get this chick-fil-a and make sure y'all hit that subscribe button like this video share this video you guys if you want me to like answer any informative questions throughout the video y'all let me know in the comments if y'all have any questions about doordash and also i will be showing my um my tracking app which is scry you guys i remember someone asked me about that app and i forgot to put it in the video so i will be showing y'all that app today so stay tuned all right and let's get this money and today it's gonna be a good day you make sure you tell yourself that right now i have a doordash for christy b okay you can go ahead all right thank you It don't make sense to go through the drive through for the for DoorDash. Just the mobile side. That's now you got to wait on these people to move. The one that's sitting up here waiting on their order. You got you got to wait for them to move out your way. And y'all, don't let it be a day where shit it be packed. I will avoid this Chick Fil A. I don't even think I I don't even think they're gonna start giving me orders for the one in the mall no more. Because they done opened this one up. And if y'all didn't know, if y'all wasn't on my last video, this particular Chick-fil-A right here, you ain't got no inside. The only inside they got, I guess, where they cooking and, 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 you know, getting the food ready. But they do have a walk-up where you can walk up outside and order. And they just got two lanes, a drive through and a mobile lane. That's it. No inside. Can't go on the inside and eat or nothing. DoorDash for Christy. Okay. DoorDash for Christy. Christy. Says it's ready. Are you ready? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. All right, guys. Just in the hot bag. I don't like that. I think they need to, to do something about that. Let's confirm this order, you guys, and deliver. This the only Chick-fil-A that's open today. Now, when I searched before I got out this morning for um, places that were line, open. Turn left onto East University Drive. It said it was open. It on DoorDash, it did. But it, it's... It, it's 
uh, this place right here. This Chick Fil A right here. Starbucks open today. Uh, I don't even know if that can open, y'all. One of them, but I, I think the one downtown. Probably the one up, up block away. But you guys, let's um deliver this Chick Fil A. And yeah, get this money today. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. There you go. Here's your drinks. Thank you. All right, you have a great day. You too. I could have been a a, a man pulling up, y'all. And I don't know. Black folk think they they own everything, and, and some white people just have their kids coming out here just ain't got on them but some pants. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. Mexican driving big trucks. And, and, and they short, and three feet tall, and, and they got big trucks and don't know where they going. Everybody got every, but well, everybody got something going on these days. I just don't understand it. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. You know, if I had a little girl, y'all, I wouldn't mind having a little girl, for real. <laughs> I got a son, but he's 19. He about to be 20 next year. He, he might as well say grown now. But I wouldn't mind having a little girl, a little Vario running around here. But y'all, if I did have a daughter, I'm sorry. Can't nobody be around her but her parents. I'm just, and that's just the way I am. Of course, you know, we can visit family members and stuff like that and whatever the case may be. But, no, nah, I, would, I wouldn't trust my my daughter around nobody. Not no spending on nobody, spending night on nobody's house. I'm just sorry. You know, you got to wait till these kids get older. I'm talking about older, older, for real, y'all, because you you just can't you just can't trust for these day. I'm for real, you just can't. I mean, I'm sorry, but you can't. If I had a daughter, uh, -uh. but I'm married, so I won't have to worry about my daughter meeting other people in and out of my life. She, when I had my son, then nobody meet him. None of my homeboys, my homegirls. I don't care who I would date. You did not mean you was not gonna meet him at all. No, it, it didn't. It didn't work like that with me, y'all. And I always been that type of parent because you just can't trust people. You know what I'm saying? I my best friend, my homeboy, my best friend. Still to this day, we've been best friend for like ten years. It was like five or six years before he even met my son we, and remind y'all we was hanging out everything he didn't meet my son i ain't let nobody meet my son I, I knew that he was genuine and stuff like that then you know they finally met they was playing the game together and stuff like that and that was it but other than that i'm sorry my my um best friend and my and my wife. The rest of them is a wrap. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, you know, he was always with me. I'm always watching, you know what I'm saying? Cause you me being a parent, you have to pay attention to your surroundings, y'all. And that's why I said if I had a daughter, man, it wouldn't even be the point that I'd be a strict parent. It's like I wouldn't trust other people because I know how other people are. You know what I'm saying? At all. I'm sorry. But y'all let me know y'all input in the comments below. 
I'm just saying, I think the, the people these days, they got, whew, Lord, it ain't like it was, you know what I'm saying, we used to grow up, even though, you know what I'm saying, it was, it was back in the day, these people, like, you had these uncles that are pedophiles and stuff like that in your family, you know what I'm saying? People be dating they cuz. I mean, you you had the, you had that crazy stuff back there. You had that crazy stuff back then. You know what I'm saying? But now it done got worse. I I, I just uh, it's a wrap with me. But I do want a daughter though. <laughs> so yeah, y'all let me know in the comments below. No, I, drank, I, drank, I drank I drank before I got this. No. It don't show that on no card when you die in there. You know that. Similac and some... Hey. Some Similac. Uh-huh. Gotta get some Similac and some Sour Patch. Uh-huh. Good old shop and deliver. Need to figure out where it at, though. Yeah, I think I'm Oh, you already talked to the woman already? Oh. Y'all, now the other series, they had the um, baby stuff over here. They don't even have it over here. Long you ain't picking up, long you ain't picking nobody up. Y'all know in other CVS, well, I know the shop at, it's over there on the other side. So, yeah. Let's get this one. This one right here. Basically, I'm doing this. Oh, they downstairs. If you have yeah, your you do got a lot of them. please scan it now. I say you do got a lot of them. Place your item. Close the fold. I don't need it. I don't need all it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I got up yesterday morning, though. 
Come on, you Stay ain't finna. Now. now, when Touch I was over there, because I just came finished. over there yesterday and, and did my brace. Now, please wait. System then processing. I put my brace on Swipe yesterday. Swipe insert card and follow instructions on pin pad. I just got about five seat Please remember to take your receipt. Thank you for shopping. Taking it to good. Please remove all bagged items. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter the Lord. Mm. Oh, yeah, let's leave. All right. All right, y'all. Let's leave this at the door. I don't think we're gonna get no big orders today you guys but be something <coughs> but yeah guys that's what I did yesterday <coughs> well <coughs> Sunday I um I went up my mama house that morning and change my brakes on my car because i'm not i'm not sure if y'all heard it or not like when i be talking and i stop on brakes you'll hear a scrub so you know now it's a different now if your brakes squeaking you know you can get by with that whoever put them on now forgot to put some grease on them brake grease on them whatever it okay, may be but when they scrubbing like mine was, it's time to change them. It's time to change them out. Now, I know y'all probably say, girl, you ain't chain no brakes on no car. But y'all, what? I'm going to say this. Y'all might hear this a lot, but... I'm country, y'all. I grew up around boys, a lot of boys. My cousin, all of them boys. Me and my cousin and my sister was the only girl. Everybody else was is boys. So they knew how to fix on cars. And you know me, I like learning stuff. So I'm always watching. Like, to this day, my, my cousin can fix on my car because he's a certified mechanic, y'all. He can fix on my car. And I'm going to know how to do it because I, I literally stand there, watch, and learn. Like, that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> a person that don't want to don't wanna learn how to do nothing, they're not going to be worried about trying to even sit there and watch. They're going to wait till you get done, you know. Or they probably gonna sit there and talk your head off the deal and still ain't gonna be trying to figure out what you doing. But me, I'm different. I um I I, I try to learn. I y'all, I try to be the jack of all trades, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, I put my brakes on yesterday. And when I put them on, my rotor, my rotor on my um passengers passing the front it was kind of ate up y'all when i tell y'all it was kind of ate up man i was like how did this the outer brake just wear down like this and when i ain't been too long got put put them brakes on my car so the rest of them they was all you know they was all right it, they were down it, it was about time to change me anyway but they still had brake pads on them about that much. So, I went on and took them back, exchanged them, and I put them on. Shit. I was sore after the fact, though. I ain't gonna lie, all that damn bending and, you know, stuff like that. <coughs> but, yeah, I put them on. My mama thought I ain't know how to, <laughs> my mama thought I ain't know what I was doing. But yeah, I know what I'm doing, y'all. Like, if I want to fix up my car, I fix up my car. Just like my Mustang. I fix on that car. I put the alternate on there, the belt. 
you know, the power stern pump. I do all that. I replace the uh, the convertible top. So, you know, you 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 really want to do you you really want to do something, you'll do it. I mean, and then you got YouTube. They gonna show you everything you need to know, even if you already know it. Just to just to clarify that you know it. You got YouTube, y'all. It's so many mechanic pages on YouTube. It's it's crazy, but yeah. I just like doing stuff myself. And as y'all can see, y'all don't hear no. But like I was saying, y'all, I made sure they was on the A1 perfect. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't gonna hear no squeaks, no nothing. Believe me when I say, now my car need washing again. I'm at Starbucks, y'all, so let's get this order. See Alexa, it is ready to go. Thanks so much. You have a great one. That's a lot of pit bulls. Big. So yeah. But that just that just shows. I just wanna let y'all know you put your anything you put your mind to, you can do it, y'all. It don't matter what it is. You can do it. All you gotta do is do it. It starts with you. Do it. That's it. That's how. That's what I always believe. I feel like I can do anything. That's how I feel, y'all. Northeast. And I always been. West, I always Alabama been that type of person. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I always been that type of person that you know. I feel like I could do anything. Head northeast toward East University Drive. And I'm for real. Head northeast toward Alabama 14 West, Alabama 15 so, South. Let's deliver this Starbucks. Hey. Good morning. Thank you have a good one. Alright. Let's go to the next one, you guys. Get this money while we can. Mm -hmm. POV fan, we at Mickey D's. Yeah, I know they open. got my order taking so long on a slow day come on let's deliver hey thank you you're welcome you have a great day let's go to the next one y'all we at CVS. We gotta shop and deliver. CVS may be on it today. Yeah. Let me get some Tide Batista sleep gels. We gonna go on. Uh, Batista, that's that hair spray. Dry shampoo. Let's see. Do this stuff really work, y'all? This freaking dry shampoo. Like when you think you want your head wet, y'all. <laughs> Me, yeah, that's a good uh. Um, yeah, that's a good product. But y'all know I can't. I don't use it. on my hair for real let's see they got that rosemary mint oh oh y'all when i tell you i hate the smell of mint it literally makes my freaking head hurt like oh they got the mango um they got avocado 
Stay straight, Sarah. Oh, they got everything. Yeah, coming out with everything. Hawaiian ginger. Oh, they don't got nothing I need. Not a thing. I see they got that uh, rice water, but that ain't what I need. <laughs> but let me find this freaking dry help shampoo, whatever you want to call it, y'all. Where it at? Have I passed it? Hmm. Batista. Did I pass it? Like, you, you can't, can't help but notice this freaking thing right here. Hmm. Mm. No. Let me go on the other side. I hope I don't get no copyright on that. Oh, it's over here. Dark hair. All right? Dry shampoo. Y'all, for real though, y'all. Let me know do this stuff work or not. Dry shampoo, like, I mean, I don't know. I would be scared to use some dry shampoo. Eunice. Some sleep gels. Hmm. Yeah, I know I don't be knowing what none of this stuff be it. I don't be using none of this stuff, y'all. Sleep gel. I'm trying to see if I see melatonin. Maybe if I see melatonin, I'll see this right here. Cause I don't, I don't know no sleep. Nothing for sleep. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't even. I don't take nothing that gonna knock me out. I don't even risk it. It'll knock you out. You won't wake back up. I don't risk it. All this medicine stuff. Y'all only... When I take medicine, it's like, oh, I need this. I really need this. But, like, all that other stuff, I ain't gonna do it. I'm sorry. What is this stuff? I don't. I know y'all be telling me what stuff be it, but I don't even see a um a sleep gel. Like I don't see anything compared to sleep, y'all. What owl is it supposed to be on? But I'm going to tell y'all, once I find it for the first time, I'm going to remember where it is. See, I don't see... Um, this is insane. Foot care, wound care. I'm quite sure it ain't over there. Pain relief. Okay, this is like it was sleep. Oh, okay. Okay, they want 32 of them. Okay, right here. Did I just pass this, y'all? I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I don't take none of this stuff. I'm just being honest. That's why I didn't, that's why I didn't know where it was. For real. Like I said, all the time I take this stuff, if, you know, I need it for real. Gang 12, I mean, uh, Tide Ultra 12 count. Yeah, I prefer to use flings, but I really like gang. I like gang flings. Hey. Because 
Welcome. If you have better. your extra care card, please scan it now. I've always used gang, uh, Place your item in the bagging area. Since I, you know, started washing my own clothes years ago. <laughs> I always use gang. Place your item in the bagging area. It smells so good. They got all kind of Scan scents. coupon oh now. Touch the continue button if finished. I love it. Your total is 42. Fifth, please wait. System processing. Swipe or insert card and follow instructions on pin pad. And then I used those little beads. You know some scent beads that you call beads, Marjorie. I used them. I used them too. Please remember to take so your good, receipt. Yeah. Thank you for shopping at CVS. Please remove and all the items. The reason why I just don't like powder, like my, my wife tried this concoction she's seen on TikTok with the baking soda and whatever, the, the, whatever all that did, washing powder and stuff like that. But you know, I don't do powder. The reason why I like flames is because you just throw them over in there. Don't matter how many you put over in there, just throw them over in there. And you good to go. But powder, bro, that powder, you got to measure that, honey. I ain't gonna lie. You got to know, you got to know how much to put up in there and everything because once them clothes get finished washing, spinning and all of that, you better pray and hope you ain't got that white powder on your clothes, stuck on your clothes. And th that's a real problem for me. I don't like that, y'all. But if y'all still use power, let me know in the comments. Because it's just something I got over when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? When I was way younger, powder is over, overly rated at this point. I, I, don't, I just, don't, just don't like nothing to be stuck on my clothes. And then... Not only that, y'all, you got to wash all of it over again. You literally got to sit there and wash it all over again. That's a waste of time. But let's go deliver to CVS, guys, and get this money. All right, y'all. Let me shut the door. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. And it's a beautiful white house, y'all. Oh my God. The door just pops. Oh, they got a nice big TV fireplace. Look like an 80 inch. That's crazy. Nice, beautiful home. It's motivational, right? Everyone want to live luxurious. As y'all can see, it's it's a beautiful neighborhood. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. It wasn't down here when I grew up though. These were just woods. Like, they got all types of houses down here. Not big mansions, it's, it's crazy. The way things change and the way, you know, big people buy out wooded areas and then build whole neighborhoods in them. But yeah, that's the money maker, guys. Let's continue making this money with DoorDash. Let's go. All right, POV fam, we got another shop and deliver. Now we at Dollar General. And it's gonna be a good shop and deliver morning. <laughs> she is. See anybody like off they want? Let's go. Bath towels. Let's go out here with these bath towels. Yeah. No, Dodge, you know how they stuff so messy and so unorganized. Mm -hmm. We got a little nice little. What them folk call it, little knick-knacks. 
That's it. For real. That's all how you want a little knickknack. Check, come on up in Dollar General. Comfort Bay Belt House. Nah. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't this something. They want one gray one. Let me see. How many inches this is? No wonder this is. Bath towel, bath towel, bath towel, bath towel. Oh, wash. This is the wash cloud. They want blue. It's the only time blue. Oh, one. Oh. Oh, man. Let me see if I can scan this right here, y'all. If y'all don't know what I'm finna do, I'm finna try to scan the barcode on the tag right here. There it go. All right, okay. We got it. Got right, this bath towel right here. That's what they want. A blue one. I hope they wash these as soon as they get it. Yeah, I know. If you know, you know. Tile blue. Right here. It's already. Unravel. All right. Right here. I'll put this to the side. Beat. No, they don't got that one now. He out of that one. I'm just gonna have to get another gray. Hmm. Wash cloth, wash cloth, towels. I ain't out of gray too. got the hand towels for it color right there which is down there so that's unavailable she said a gray bath cloth bath towel or tile blue so they do got another tile blue so she did not substitute that with blue Probably gonna substitute it with another blue. Cause they out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna substitute this with another blue, y'all. You know, cause I ain't about to people have you on shopping sprees and they don't be no one near their phone. I ain't got no gray. I ain't got none. one all right let's get up out of here let them know they only have blue and tile blue so they got two of each that's all they got Man, how much 
Woody. Four hours. I think they have four hours. I'm not sure. Yeah. Y'all yeah, have to shop at these for when they first put their stuff in stock. Because if not, they pack for people that went through them, man. All right. Let's wait. How you doing? Come on, right? How you doing? Thank you. Take this photo, y'all. Get home about our business. That's it. Let's go. All right. He got in his truck. Next one. Walgreens it is, you guys. And oh yeah, y'all. By the way, I did not forget. I said I was gonna show y'all the app that I use. So let's go out of my screen. And I'm finna show y'all. Let me confirm that I'm at the store first. Start shopping. I know they want Alani. That's some good, uh, them some good drinks, though, by the way. Even though I'm not sponsored by any of that. But, yes, y'all. Here's Scribe. Right here. So, right now, it's tracking my miles, as y'all can see. It also times it. Now, I don't go by this time. I, I go by um my actual active time when I you know calculate how much i make per hour but this is how long i've been out so far three hours you guys i start this as soon as i leave my house well before i even go out the door because i know i'm about to get ready to dash now that's how you end it normally i already have the live around now like when i go out of town like as y'all know i be going to mississippi and stuff I switched it on that one because overall, y'all, I claim my car. I claim everything on my taxes, you know. That's because it's, I mean, a part of my business, you know what I'm saying? Now, there you go. They got everything you need to know right here, guys. Like, when I go to get oil changes, anything, I go to the dealership for my car. I put it on this app. I put it on this app, y'all. I click on this. Where it says add income, add expenses. I go to add expenses, y'all. And whatever I have, like, I mean, even if you buy anything for your business, put it in here, y'all. Put it in there. Now, I just go to inspection. And I'll take a picture of it. And in my notes, I'll do oil change. Put the price right here. And I save it. And I, and I label it as delivery or, you know, creative professional. But that's how I use the Scry app, you guys. So, if y'all want to use the Scry app, everything is in the description below. That's why I tell y'all every time, check the description. Check the description. Everything is in the description, okay? Now, with upside, y'all, like I say, if you're going to get, um, 
you're gonna use i'm looking for a money 12 pack but if you're gonna start doordash and you're gonna use dasher direct or your bank account okay link that link that card especially if you're gonna use your your bank account link that card to upside y'all link it to upside that app is in the description below too all you gotta do is link it to up, upside they'll show you what discounts you'll get you guys that's what they do they show you discounts cash bags cash bags y'all all you gotta do is follow the instruction on this app and get your money that's it y'all now especially with a dash of direct if you put the dash of direct on your upside account that's double that that is double and i'm still looking for this money but double cash back oh they just want i thought they wanted a 12 pack but they just want one cherry twist and peach <laughs> i'm over there looking for a 12 pack but yeah you guys that's what i um shit they don't even got it oh mm. well let me go see if they got a single this those are the apps that i use like you guys every single app i use is in the description guys in the description below Let's see what they want no they don't got no money let's take this shelf photo so they can see. Cause I'm finna get up out of here. Did I even have a oh yeah, he's supposed to be up there at the top. But they completely out. Yeah, Take this picture, no substitute available. I'm not finna stick around. You know, they completely out, sold out, guys. Issue a refund. Issue this refund. All items are out of stock. I already text them. Um, I know at least with Cash App, I've done it. It charges uh, a dollars He said any similar would be Cash great. Red Bull. Bull. You want Red Bull? Now I'll get you a Red Bull. Yeah, I know Okay, Red Bull is fine. What kind? I'll finna be all out of stock and hit the dough, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Charge, charge on top of that. But they might not since. But it's like three. What can? Row. I just get the regular. I ain't, I ain't got time. I'm 
say he had his phone by him because you know I was gonna be up out of here. Thank you. Yeah, I know I was about to go. I get a bag for that, please. Six forty eight. Uh, it will make you sign something at the end. I don't think I have to. I'm doing it for every door dasher. I know, but I, when I came here the other day, they they didn't. They said I ain't have to worry about signing. Well, oh, they told they told you to um get everybody to sign it. I know what you're saying, saying customer signature. Yeah, tax exempt, right? Um, yeah, since it's tax exempt, I'm gonna go ahead and make everyone sign it because that's like for our records. Well, you ain't gonna make me do it. I'm just choosing to now. Of course, um, I'm not going to put my name on there. It ain't mine. It's it's to make sure people don't steal and it's Can I, Let me get that receipt. Oh. There you go. Unfortunately, I don't make the rules, you know. Yeah, I know. Just worded it incorrectly, that's all. And y'all know I've been coming to Walgreens. Of course, y'all have seen me. So, yeah. They just literally throw it, throw it away. But I'm I'm guessing she is new. Which that's why I asked. I'm like, you know, who told you that? I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure it out at this point, cause the few days I've been. What in the world? Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to figure some mess out real quick. The few days that I've been coming to Walgreens, they just throw the little paper away. I already knew what she was talking about. You know what I'm saying? But she, she gonna tell me um, what I didn't like about it. She just said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make everybody sign it. You know, you ain't, you ain't gotta make, you ain't gonna make me do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm signing because that's what I'm choose to doing, to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I choose to do, is to sign it. So don't say you gonna make me, you know. And I always been big on vocabulary, guys. Like forever. Like I always been big on vocabulary. Like when I speak, I I speak in complete sentences. When I text, I text in complete sentences. I don't use no shortcuts. I spell out words. I've been I always been big on vocabulary. And that's the thing about me. Like, you have to... When when you're speaking to me, I am listening. That's the thing about me. When someone's speaking to me, I listen. So if you saying, I was, that means you, you was, but you didn't. You know what I'm saying? So don't... Just, just speak right. You know? what I'm saying don't use words that ain't that's demanding towards me please don't just cut through Brentwood subdivision this road does not cut through please come in an alternate route Brentwood subdivision where you at honey You stay on Moore's Mill. Okay, we fin we finna come on Moore's Mill, cause you know, at the end of the day, that's that's where you at. We finna come on Moore's Mill, honey. Head west. I for tell y'all the These folk be trying to tell you the location of their house, everything. I'm like, just leave it for real, y'all. When y'all um put y'all address in, 
leave it up to the dasher to find it. But if multiple dashers have have came to you and and you know you you seen them, it's hard to find. That's when you right you know what I'm saying. Road. Explain it just a little bit. You know, we don't have time to read for one mile. whole paragraphs and stuff like that. But the reason why I sometimes I read a direction, guys, but then again, like if they tell me to leave it on the porch, on a chair, or something like that, but like the, the directions for us getting to your house, I don't even, I don't pay that no mind. Unless it's in a place where I know, like, okay, it be dark out here. You can't see the numbers on the building. And they say, like, five building down or something like that. I'm aware of that. Because I'm aware of my area. So, yeah. But, yeah. I don't like I don't like for no one to speak speak to me demandingly. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That's, that's, what, I was, that's what I was telling her. But I was trying to explain to her, like, you know, I didn't have to sign that paper. Because, you know, they ain't been making me sign that paper. They just been throwing it away. But the reason why I signed it then, because I ain't never seen her before. She knew. Tell me some keep you from stealing. Girl, if she would understand signing that paper don't keep in nobody from stealing. Mill Road. What in the world? Like, y'all, explain that to me. Signing that piece of paper ain't going to stop nobody from stealing. Who are we going to stop stealing? We got the stuff already. Long as them people got that stuff, they ain't worried about it. We ain't trying to... Most of all, ain't no... Y'all, tell me a story where a DoorDash driver went in the store and stole on a day. Continue on Moore's Mill Road for one and a half miles. Like, come on. The stuff that we're getting is already paid for on the app. We just have to swipe our card. That don't stop you from, see? And that's why sometimes... I rather not have conversation with people like that. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And that and that just and I'm just being honest. For real. I'm just being completely honest with y'all. Because at that point, somebody was that brain power was not there. And I do not I I I could care less of having a conversation with a person that don't use their common sense. You know what I'm saying? That just that right there. I don't conversate with people like that. Like you need to start thinking a little bit. It's okay to, to start thinking thinking before you speak. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. I don't that's it. <laughs> that right there let me know everything I need to know, y'all. But anyway, let's deliver these two Red Bulls. Alright y'all. Y'all see last time I was over here. See how far they done came with this? this. That's crazy. But yeah, y'all, it wasn't no type of mix up trying to find this, this place. But uh, I'm telling you. People would cause a mix up. But they done came a long way. Go to the next one. All right, POV fam, we at Rusty Barrel. Oh, guess they about to get their drink on. It's about that time, y'all. About that time, baby. I'm gonna come in here and try one of these little mixed drinks. Oh, they ain't open. Let me get my money, y'all, because they closed. They want 
want you to call the store, confirm. Of course, they closed. I'm standing here looking at it. It's pure darkness in here. I just want my money. Holiday, of course. Store hours. The entrance right here. See the lights in the dark. Let's take this photo, yeah. Right up in there. They want you to do all of that before they can give you some some money. Give me my money. All right. Y'all see I got paid half of that. Let me show y'all. Let me get in the car. Because it's, it's too hot out here for any human to stay. <laughs> Uh-oh, too late, y'all. I already got another order in. So let's go on and accept that one. Y'all see, I got paid. Yep, all you gotta do is call them. Call them whenever you have an issue. Get your money. Took me less than a minute to get here, too, because I was right there. So, $6 is a good one. Let's go to Mickey D's. I mean, Beyond the Walk. Beyond the Walk. I gotta be her voice. I'm not, I'm not even sure, y'all. But I do like sushi. Okay. Y'all, today I might actually um, wash my car. I might wash my car today, y'all. It's, it's a little dirty. But it's supposed to rain this week, so I'm gonna plenty. Right, thank you. But yeah, it's supposed to rain this week. So I'm not sure. Despite that I did change my brakes yesterday, and y'all know when you Change your brake. You got all that brake dust, then your handprints and all of that. Well, I had gloves on, but yep, yeah, they need to be they need to be washed. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing though: the outside might be dirty, but baby, my inside, the inside of my car. It might be cleaning some people house. <laughs> Ooh. Except for my side over here, y'all. Y'all know I be getting in, in and out the car, so. I get a pass for getting in and out the car, in and out the car, because I'm door dashing. I get a pass for that, okay? I do. But other than that, y'all, the inside of my car stay clean, baby. You can best believe that. It stay clean and it stay smelling good too. Even though I deliver food, I don't like smelling food all the time because I don't de deliver so Take much food, y'all. Like then sometimes right I don't, even, I don't even want to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it in be. So that's why I keep my good old Avenue. blunt pot up in here. Yeah, I know. I keep it over there. Yeah, because I just like for my car to be smelling good. Because sometimes, y'all, these people, they don't give you time to um, time to get out the car and bring you their food. That's why, you know, I don't mind for people coming to my car. At least they know 
They may see the outside of it sometimes, may, may look a little rough on the outside. But when they reach in my car, they see a clean car. A car that's clean, smell good, and they food in a hot bag. Okay? So, I don't mind them coming to my car. Because some of them do. I get they be so hungry. They, they just be like, I just meet her at the car. <laughs> but then again, a lot of them be wanting to know who they dash or who they dash or are, what the person look like. And y'all know I'm for real. Cause I done door dashed some food before. Turn left onto West Even though Avenue. I say leave it at the door, I'm already on my phone watching, see where they at, they putting up. By the time they be putting up to my door, I'm already open up the door. You know what I'm saying? Cause I have door dash before, I just don't do it now. I just don't DoorDash now because as I've been a DoorDash driver, now I have not got nobody that brought my brought me no food to my house that had dog hair on them and that, everything like that. But I have had somebody brought my food to my house that it wasn't in no hot bag. Y'all see what I'm saying? But now let me tell y'all this. Continue on West Magnolia Avenue for three quarters of a mile. The reason why I don't DoorDash anymore, since I've been DoorDashing, y'all, like I be on this, I be on this camera, y'all. When I be out here, I be seeing these different DoorDashes out here. For one, they hygiene is very bad. Like it's this guy. I hate to see him coming, y'all. When the well my man and he coming, I hate to see him coming because I know he smell bad. I mean, you could just smell it. The wind just blowing it. I, I mean, it's it's just it's a disgrace amongst black folks. <laughs> but it, it 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 be so bad, y'all. It's a few more now. It just, they, they just, it just be so bad, y'all, like, for real. Then I see where they, they cars be dirty. They don't have no hot bag. They have dog hair. I don't, I don't know if it dog hair or cat hair, y'all. Now, I'm being straight up honest with y'all. I don't know if it dog hair or cat hair, but it be all over these folks. And, and, whew, if y'all know, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. It's just animal hair. Oh my god! Then you smell like it. Oh my god! It's it's insane to me. It really is insane to me, y'all. Like I'm just not I'm just not talking just to be talking, but I am dead serious. I see it out here every single day. Every single day. These people have just pet hair everywhere. Like, and then I be looking at my, I be thinking to myself, like, that's even more better reason not even the DoorDash. I ain't about to DoorDash nothing. If I'm, if I'm risking my order to be picked up by, by some of these people out here, I don't want to DoorDash. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to order nothing from DoorDash. I'll just be the driver. You know, continue on West Blend. I'll be one of the drivers, y'all. That, that's it. Like I know a person, they probably see me. You know what I'm saying? They were like, "Well, oh, she's nice. Every my food's still hot." You know, they come to my car, my car clean. They food in the hot bag. You know, I I'd rather just be one of be one of them. And pretty much everybody know who I am by now, anyway, because I'm always got a camera on. I'm the only in person mile, turn left onto Hemlock Drive. in the city, y'all. And that's Armin and Opelika. They wear a camera. And doing YouTube with this DoorDash stuff. So, yeah. Take the next they left be onto Hemlock Drive. Now. Then your destination will be on the right. But, let's go ahead and deliver. Let's deliver, baby. Yeah. 
I done talked y'all all the way here if y'all didn't know it. All the way here. So this will be the limb right here in the front. But you know, you gotta take the next walk up this little Hemlock stairway Drive, and all of that. And Drive. We gonna we gonna do all of that. This is this little stairway right there. So let's bag up in here and take their food up. Cause I done talk y'all ears off. Turn left onto Hemlock Drive. I know some of y'all probably be like, will be on the left. Oh, you think that bitch why? Uh, we here now. We here, baby. Like Dion Santa. We coming. Yep. We here. They on the third floor, though, so. We got to go up some stairs, y'all. We on the third floor. Let's go. Even the first one. Shit. Y'all, yeah, my leg, my thighs hurting so bad. For real. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all. When I was putting them ties on, it's convenient for the mechanics to have those lifts in their shop. It really is. Because they're able to stand up, but when I put, when I was taking my brakes off and putting them back on, I had to bend down. Yeah. My thighs and my legs are sore. That mean I got a good workout in, but it made me sore now. Let's go to the next one. All right, fam, we do have stack orders, but first we're going to go into uh, Target. Then I'm going to put that in the car and head down into five guys. So let's go. This shouldn't take long at all. Y'all clock me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably do it for real. We need a 10 count Dr. Pepper. Vegetable oil. I gotta find the vegetable oil. Oh my God. Me, I hope y'all ain't. Cause I don't, I don't know what a vegetable is, y'all. I got to find it for real. I don't know where it is. Uh, I'm trying to find it. What the freak is it? A whole forty ounce? You would think it would be over here by the. The cakes, oh, okay, it is over here by the cakes. Ain't no think about it. All right, y'all. You clocking me, you stop clocking me. <laughs> it still don't take me that long to come in here and get what I need, though. And that's for real. Salad kit. Taylor Forms. So they want the green goddess. That's, that's too much for a little, little mini salad. Huh. That's it. Once, and then it's 220 calories. What kind of salad is this? I wouldn't dare eat that. Ain't no salad for to be them many calories. Let's see how much did my favorite lady. Shredder iceberg lady. Look, 40 calories. 
Cause y'all know you can eat the whole little thing right here. Now, for this to be 259 and that to be 219, I'll go with that and cut up my own stuff. But I'ma come back in here, y'all, and try these um them olipops. The olipop drink, I heard that was some um they good for you. But let me get out of here hush. Yeah, I'll probably be clocking me. And I'm over here talking. And I gotta go put this stuff in the car. We're gonna go ahead. See, we're here gonna put it go in the bag, y'all. Yeah. For real. Now I'm finna go put that in the car and I'm finna go to uh, Five Guys. Put this in the back and my grow hole back. I'm gonna go to Five Guys, y'all. You too. Let's go to five guys after I put this in the car. It ain't no where to park. Yeah, I don't say where I park. I park wherever I want to. It's a free country. If they ain't gave me no ticket for it, don't say nothing about it. Okay? If I don't come back with no ticket, don't you say nothing. It's a free country. Plus, that's the unloading zone. Unloading and loading. Don't worry. Oh, it's hot out here, y'all. And that's for real. It's smoking. I feel like it's, I don't know how many degrees, 100 degrees out here. For real. Now I gotta wait for them to drop some fries. They ought to be so used to me coming in here with this camera on. They ought to be dropping fries when they see me come through the door. But it's somebody different. <laughs> Do y'all eat fire guys? Let me know. Cause it's a, uh, it's a little, that's a little pricey burger. You had to wait on each fry. Dalton. Yeah. They actually had some just sitting up there in the thing, y'all. Ain't that crazy? That's the first out of many. But they actually, y'all, whenever y'all go to Fire Guy and y'all don't want all that grease in y'all hot bag, just ask them for a plastic bag. They'll give it to you. I do it every single time. Have a good one. Can I have a plastic bag, please? Plastic bag, yes, bro. Yeah. All uh, that grease. Well, yeah. I don't want that. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Because when they um when they put fries over in the bag, it it gives them very very. That bag would be very, very greasy, y'all. And I try to keep my hot bag as clean as possible. So, that's why I always ask for a bag. It never fails. You should try it. Even though I do clean mine out, I still try to keep it as clean as I can. Because I'm not, I'm not with all that, that mess, y'all. <laughs> but let's go deliver. It's five guys. All right, 
back. Just leave this at the door. They said they got a broken foot. Make sure to find the right door. If y'all start pinpointing your address on the app, people start finding it. Good thing I know the area, but uh, I'm quite sure it's some type of way that you can make your address more accurate on that door that shell when you ordering food y'all let me know in the comments all right let's go to the next one all right let's take these up some stairs Y'all know it's lunch time, but I ain't really <laughs> getting that they say it's lunch. I guess everybody don't order what they gonna order over the weekend and on game day. That's how they go. All right, y'all. Let's go to the next one. Look out, this. That little turkey sandwich would be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for um, Betsy G. It's not ready, y'all. Okay. They is swamp packed up in here. And I was looking at my TikTok. Take this photo. All right, that's the limpo. We have another shop and deliver. Same customer, y'all. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Just letting you dry. Hmm. I'm not too familiar with this store, but I think everything's over here. I remember. Yeah, back in the day, I used to drink that, uh, that right here. Yep, that conquered grape. Used to drink that. This right here, I drank this too, but you make mimosas with it. Now, this right here, Moscato de Asse. Oh my God. Y'all talking about some taste. Good? Man. That is off the chain. Couldn't let it even dry. I like ginger ale, y'all. I would prefer the ginger ale zero. I really do. I don't know. My grandma used to have a little drink of this when we was uh, younger. Used to be. Stomach used to be hurting. Go on in, drink your ginger ale. And then we had the kind with uh, zero sugar. Because one, one thing about it, y'all, the reason it don't bother me drinking anything with zero sugar, because when um, when I was younger, I'm looking for some Clorox now, y'all. When I was younger, my, well, to this day, my grandma 
had diabetes. So it really didn't bother me to to drink anything without sugar. Well, just like now, I would drink zero sugar drinks. I'll drink zero sugar Red Bulls. It'd be zero sugar anything. If I wanted to eat candy, y'all. Well, it would be if zero. you have your extra care it would be card, sugar free. please scan it now. Make sure I got that card out of the car. Yeah. Yeah, I even can eat sugar-free candy, y'all. I'm not a big sweet person, anyway. Place your item in the bagging area. Place your item in the bagging area. Don't really bother me. Scan coupon now. Touch the continue button if finished. Your total is 15, 90. Please select your payment method. Please wait. System processing. Swipe or insert card and follow instructions on pin pad. I said don't pull the receipt. Please remember to take your receipt. Thank you for shopping at CVS. Please remove all bagged items. Take that thing good. It won't be coming apart. Remember y'all saying when I uh, pulled it one time and it just came apart? That's what they talking about. The tear. I don't know. Shit, these look crazy. But let's go. Put this in the bag. Check out this freaking land. This is insane. Oh my goodness. It made me think about when I was growing up, my cousin used to work for this guy I had land like this, a yard like this, with trees just like this in his yard. Cause he used to, you know, he used to um, work on a tractor and stuff. Just like this, y'all. I'm trying to see. Them some crap apple trees. If they is. Y'all, look at all this. This is insane. Beautiful, though. It's beautiful. This stuff talk to you. You'll never find it. Got electric lights. So be they got another house up there and like this whole driveway rolled through here it's just filled with like patches and horses and just mansions oh my god i wish i could show y'all what i see but oh i left it there i'm just gonna put a hand it to it because i sent one photo it's the same person they paid me very well, too. So, I'm gonna try to show it to y'all if I can. Man, this is, this is beautiful, y'all. When I tell y'all it, this is beautiful, it's beautiful. Like, it's just, of course, they, they, gonna, they gonna need a tractor here because of all of this freaking land. It's horses all back there, y'all. Look, it's horses all over there. Horses over there. I'm gonna try to uh, show y'all what I see. But yes, got horses, just big, beautiful houses, just every freaking where. Like 
this is insane. And I know some people are say, like, don't be sure they have it. Don't be sure. Look at that. Look, y'all. Look at that. That's just beautiful, right? Just big houses. It's everywhere. All over here. On the other side, y'all. Look. I wish I can zoom in, but I really just can't zoom in on no GoPro. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Look at this. They building the house right here. They just literally building the house right here. Next door. Look at all that land, though. And y'all, this this house up here. Now I've been out here before, and even the deer, they just be out here, just grazing the the grass, just eating the grass, and they own little, you know, they own little world. They ain't worried about nobody balling them or nothing. This is so beautiful. It's even house. It's even a house over there. I know y'all really can't see that, but look. Look at that, y'all. This is just beautiful. See, this is what happens when these people invest in land, then people start building their houses on land, y'all. Just this stuff right here. You just buy it. Yeah. Them deer be all out there grazing. But yeah, I'm, on, I'm back on the dirt road now, y'all. I ain't trying to get all that dirt in my that dust but it's a gravel road but yeah y'all but overall y'all it's just it's just beautiful out here <laughs> like ain't nothing more I can say you come down here at night time now you you probably gonna hit a deer or something cause I seen them during the daytime when I came down here last time but yeah it's just it's 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 so beautiful down here. And this is like the end of the road, y'all. Y'all see everything that I showed y'all? This is the end of the road in one section. These folks ain't worried about nothing. So they know if you way down here at the end of this road, look, y'all, this is the end of the road. If you way down here at the end of this road right here, something going on. This is, this is a dead end. Shouldn't nobody be down here on the folk property at all. Of course, you know, if they door dashing or something like that, but yeah, other than that, shouldn't nobody be down there, buddy. That is a straight up dead end. That's just in that little circle, all that land and that, that one little circle. Whew, man, it's beautiful down here, though. It's beautiful. It's, especially in Auburn, y'all. That's why, for one, I love dashing in Auburn. I don't mind dashing in Opelika, but, you know, they up there, they not going to pay you like they do in Auburn now. I'm just saying, y'all, because the Opelika area, they stay too far out away from, you know, any type of restaurant or anything like that it's just too far it's just too far out well you know in the midst of Auburn everything is just right here you know what I'm saying so you're gonna get your money worth especially when they tipping you know you're gonna get your money that's this that's, that's all I'm saying you're gonna get your money worth whether you're in you're in Opelika and you know they still tipping you, but it's not worth the miles. Y'all get what I'm saying? So I see it like that. It ain't worth the miles up there, but down here in Auburn, this is the bag city. If you really want to get to your bag, you can come. Auburn, man, it's enough money out here for everybody. Some more money in the world for everybody. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Golly, I wish y'all could have seen that. That's a beautiful house. I ain't never seen I, I stay paying attention to it. But yeah. Now that is like a one of a kind house right there. I ain't never seen no house like that before. And I'm just slowing down these people looking at me. They probably like, what is she looking at? Y'all don't 
Oh, see, these folk building mansions out here back to back. But yeah, y'all, I roll dash down here or get to that money. And then not only that, like I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all what I was, I was really thinking. Y'all see how much I go in these rich neighborhoods, y'all. A lot, right? So, I, t I was like, I was telling my sister, her husband, you know, he used to like doing little yard work and stuff like that. And I was trying to tell them about, you know. But yeah, y'all, what I was saying before this the GoPro interrupted me because I don't know what's wrong with it and I'm not about to buy another one. But I was telling my sister and her husband, like, he, if he wanted to do lawns, like, he wanted to start his landscaping business, start it. Because y'all know every house I go to in these big neighborhoods with these big I mean, their lawns need doing, their hedges might need trimming, and I mean, ain't no telling what else they they may they may need. Y'all know what I'm saying? But what I was trying to let him know is, if you're gonna do it, just make you some business card. Whenever I go to these people houses in these big neighborhoods, I just leave a business card. Bam, you got some business. But I guess uh, he changed his mind or whatever. But I was just throwing a, a little, a little business idea out there because y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something. If I had a, if I had a lawn service with reliable workers, because you can't depend on your folks. I'm gonna tell y'all like this: your folks is not the one you want working under your business. You know, not not something like that. You know what I'm saying? They make it help. You know what I'm saying? But they they don't make them no primary worker because it ain't gonna work. You got a business. Don't don't involve your family. Somebody putting them on no payroll and all of that. No, you can't. Y'all, you can't depend on them. You can't depend on your folks. I'm telling you that now. You might want to go and get you some Mexicans or some somebody you know they gonna work. Don't mind working. <laughs> they gonna be there on time. You know what I'm saying? That you you can pretty much say, okay, I'm I'm gonna get you to supervise this. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't really gotta be there hands on all the time, but come out there and check and make sure they doing everything perfectly the way it's supposed to be done. You see what I'm saying? Now with you run the building, you got your folks involved, they want to work with you and all that, they going to come late. They going to they, they gonna lollygag around because get what? Oh, that's my cousin, that's my sister, that's my brother, man, blah, blah, blah. See, I ain't with all that. I'm not that, I'm not that type of person. With business, is business, and we can be family, you know, after work, shit. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, like, man if i really if i just like i just don't understand it's money out here to be made and a lot of people think oh i need a business license to start a business no you do not you do not need no business license to start a business all you gotta do is go ahead and start just do it then when you start making that money, then go get your LLC. You know, you ain't got you. You don't need a business license to start a business, okay? When your business start making that money, you know, get you a, a couple thousands in, and then you get your LLC, and then and go from there. A lot of people just make it more than, than what it is, which it ain't even that. It ain't even that much. It ain't that hard. Just this money to be made outside. Now, I just put y'all on some game. Anything y'all know somebody that door dashing, y'all got a business, y'all want to put out there, get them some business cards. If they don't mind, they will advertise it whenever they stop, whenever they take an order somewhere, they'll get them a business card. Put it, leave it, leave it on top of the bag. 
That's all you gotta do. Cause that's all I mean, that's all it is. Advertising. I just put y'all on game. Alright, y'all, let's get to these orders. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go old bird. It's all this I have. So they've been good, y'all. I can't complain. Building how I expected. Alright. Let's wait on this, y'all, because we don't need no copyright. Okay? Just a bottle of water. Thank you. Yeah, let's take this photo. Well, no, we ain't got a, we don't have it. Um, all right, y'all, can't get copyright. All right, y'all, so she at the pool. They, they having a party out here. I'm not sure where she at, though. Somebody will just, hey, Lily Kay? Okay. Thank you. You have a nice day. Body wash, me and body wash. Every man jack body wash. We all body wash in the same place with the with the women. Saddlewood. I ain't never seen that. Hey y'all. <laughs> of course I ain't. I ain't no man. Huh? Oh, I see it. It's small. <laughs> Found it, y'all. I would have never knew. Thirteen one five. Gotcha. Go get this juice. Yeah. I like applesauce. <laughs> Don't ask me. I just say it's my applesauce, y'all. That's all the reason why I say it, Dick. But I really do. Juice on that one. The juice it. Okay. Very rush. This is good. You be done got this. Get a little ice in it, boy. You be done drunk this whole gallon. That's why I try to stay away from stuff like this, y'all. I really do. Because for one, it's too good. Yeah, it's too good. Forty calories per eight fluid ounces. It's too good, especially with some ice or with a little ice in it. Your belly be swole, full of juice. <laughs> I'm good. I get All right, come on, man. Which way? Is it not going through or something? Hello? Ma'am, it's not going through? 
It already up there. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Have a great day. I'm gonna take this receipt. Oh. <laughs> These orders go to the same person. Damn, I spilled that now. Of course, I thought I wasn't gonna put in a pizza bag. Oh no, buddy. Yeah, I know how I roll. like this video share it if you're new to dashing and you got any question leave them in the comments there you go you have a good one Flat on that car. Huh? 